Hello, I want to give you a very quick video on the matter of spacing and a ruling. For those doing APA specifically, there's a rule for the amount of space and that would be on a research document double spaced. This is a one and a half and the distance between this line and the beginning of the next paragraph I have discovered is often in the documents that I receive there's an additional space. This is a occurrence of Microsoft Word and not everybody seems to know how to fix it. So let me show you. You First you highlight the line above the next paragraph and then you go to your home and then you have lines right here this little item here is very helpful. It shows that it's double spaced, but let's go to the line spacing options. The line spacing options say that there's zero points above, but it's a double spaced. There are, however, eight points of space after, so it's a double space plus eight points distance. So we want to bring that down to zero. I hit OK and now we have the amount of space we, that we need. When you're going to a new paragraph, extra space is uh, undesirable. Right here, I can do the same thing to make sure it's a double space. It's one and a half. There, it adds the double to all since they are all in one paragraph. And of course, when you have new headers, you get them new head headings put them to the next line and again the matter of double space and then when you add a double space here we will see that there's going to be yet again Microsoft Word added a dis additional space and so we want to go again to line space option and change it to a zero so there's zero spaces after what I highlighted. That's an APA rule and I believe it's also a Chicago Manual style rule. However, I'm not too sure of the ruling for uh, Trabian and if it's specific to the distance between I highly suspect they are um, consistent on that specific rule of spacing that it is continuous throughout the whole document. However, since I cannot say for sure, I strongly advise that you seek the information um, by our favorite tool, Google, that will give an answer make sure that it's an up-to-date resource that you use that finds that supplies you this information okay so this is a very short video but it does give you some answers and some help